Welcome to Planeswalker Plus. I'm your host, Liam. Now, today, we're gonna to be unboxing a set of Modern Masters 2017, Modern Masters 3. Let's get into it. So here is our box of Modern Masters. Now, normally I would say draft, draft, draft this, but let's crack up some packs and see if we get some cool things inside. Oh yeah, Grizz. Oh yeah, Grizz. So I'll just be taking down. I'll just move this out of the, our very first pack. Ooh, Serum Visions, Vitrify, ah, Venza, and a Soul Warden, so pretty cool. We have some playables. The Planeswalker everyone wants to get. Okay, this set actually looks really awesome to draft, multicolored, and stuff that's new for Pauper, which is awesome. But everyone is what's really excited for the, ah, uh, look, they can't all be winners. Another Grizz. Spell Pierce. Under his Wrath at Common, that'd be awesome. Glad that's not a rare. Uh, again, we're not, we're not necessarily winning the lottery, but that's all right. Explores, Oracles. Now the putrefite, ah, Cabin of Souls. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Uh, Cabin is a much needed reprint. That is an expensive card. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Electromancer, Hell Rider. Again, another card that has been downgraded from rare, which is always nice. And modern playable cards in foil. That's always good for your trade binder. Okay. Uh, oh, look, we've got we've got the EDH pack there. Evil Twin and Zer the Enchanter. I do love cracking packs. Uh, this is the Pauper pack. Resto, and yep, Pauper All-Star. I think that is worth more than the Resto Angel. Ah, uh, that is magic for you. One of the um, commons I was actually really excited for in terms of draft was um, Burning Tree Embassy, because I thought I would love, yeah, to draft a deck which had like six or seven Burning Tree Embassies and just on turn two, just go bang, 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 bang. Um, or I'd like to open some, you know, nice rares in the draft. Either, either, really. So let's have a look. Sun growth, charm, ugh. So look, we, we, we've, got, we've got some nice cards and we've got some, some cards as well. So this is the end of the first pile. Feel like I want to play old standard. Maybe our rare will be in the same harmonize. Dampening matrix. Okay. So it was not uh, not the card we wanted, but uh, playable bulks are better than just bulks. Okay, eyes of sky. Sin collector. Evil twin. Which one is the actual evil twin? One, one of them is. Uh, that's the foil. Guild gates. Another spell pierce. Uh, mystical teachings. Pauper is getting work out. Ah, Snapcaster Mage. So we've got some pretty good cards so far. Well, uh, a couple of really cool cards. It's always hard to tell whether a box is going to be worth it. I mean, I think if you're drafting and having fun, that's 
one thing. Okay. Stoic Angel. We, we, we've pulled, so now we've pulled a couple of the face cards from the set. Uh, there's Burning Tree. Uh, so there's some, some, some pauper cards in here and some awesome draft cards. Uh, I'm so glad Fetch just got reprinted. They definitely needed a reprint. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it could have been in a standard set because you have Fetches in a standard set and the set's going to be the highest selling set release to date. Um, but it is nice getting stuff like this in your in your pack. Oh, look, there you go. They're, they're best friends. They're, they're together. Um, so, like, so far, we've got some... We've got some cards here. Um, nice, the, you see the, the nice and neatness that I'm doing in laying them out, but we have some pretty cool cards and some other stuff that is, is playable and uh, is useful, so that's, that's always a positive. So we've still got a, a bunch of packs to go. Frost, Lingering Souls, Cruel Automaton. Cool card, um, but again, it's a little bit of a feel bad having a $15 pack that you open up a dollar rare. Um, but they can't all be Snapcaster Mages. I mean, I would buy a box of that if you could buy a box of, uh, of Snapcaster Mages. So Inquisition is another great uncommon that they've got. Um, definitely better than rare as it was in Conspiracy 2. Um, good to get playsets of that. And the um, look, I guess, I guess it's really cool with the 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 blink um, mechanic that like is part of the set. This dragon because it makes a dragon when it comes in. But yeah, otherwise it, it is not one of our high value cards. Okay, let's have a look. Another burning tree. It's gonna be a great turn too. Gortland, Signet, Domri Raid. Uh, cool card, it was great and standard, but again, it's not the Planeswalker you wanna open. Uh, there you go. We are, our, our collection of face cards is, uh, is getting larger. Uh, there, there you go, there's the, there's the draft combo. Scavenging Ooze, Prison Spectacle. You know what we haven't opened, which I am disappointed? We have not yet opened a Vampire Nighthawk. I started M13, it's one of my favorite cards, and the new art, or well, the new card doesn't have uh, reminder text, so it has, ah, uh, oh, yep, there you go. Has, um, it actually has flavor text. And I'm disappointed that we haven't seen it yet. Pyroclasm, Unburial Rice, Stony Silence. So yeah, there's lots of cool cards in this set. I think we've got a pretty decent haul so far. Okay. Just an image. Gets played in Merfolk, so that's kind of cool. They're just sort of rares you like. They're like, there's an image, Stone Silence, Game News. Yeah, sure, they may not be like huge value, but they're playing a lot of decks, they're really good cards. The staples. Or a bolus. It's gonna be an awesome draft set. Terminate. Misty! That's two fetches so far. And we have two packs to go. Okay. What's it gonna be? Obsidat, ah, Foil Spell Pierce, that's awesome. Obsidat, great card, it'd be really good and limited, an EDH, but it's not Liliana, and it is not Vampire Night Hawk, which are the two cards we are looking to get here. So, last pack, Spike Jester, Guild Gate, Aether Toe, Gnawing, Vamp uh, Gnawing Zombie, Strength of Numbers, Delirium, Thunderous Wrath, it's Slicer, Ingrata, Might, Awesome reprint. Compulsive research. 
that's that's a that's a pretty good last pack i gotta say to to, to, to get that um so let's just have a quick recap of what we've got so we opened some really cool stuff in total we got four mythics in our box of 24 packs which included uh Kevin souls voice with its token and a token is probably worth more than some of the rares uh because it is a voice is a very highly sought after card and token just as rare we've got a snapcaster and a domi raid we're less excited about domi raid but you know you can't win them all we've got three fetches which is awesome and especially considering that you know it's golden tarn and misty are amongst them gotta love those blue fetches uh, we other cool cards, Blood Moon, Fencer, and a bunch of other sort of um, playable cards, including Zer the Enchanter for our EDH friends. In terms of foils, we got a couple of nice looking pretty ones, uh, including the only rare foil we had was Evil Twin, uh, more of an EDH card, but it still looks pretty. Uh, a couple of modern playable cards with uh, Intangible Virtue, Goblin Lichromancer, and Soul One. And uh, nice of all, a Spell Pierce. Uh, which I'm sure is worth more than the bulk of our rares. And that was very exciting opening the box. We've got lots of cool cards and it's, it looks like a great draft format that I'm super excited for. These are the end of these cards. With this box, as well as some standard staples, we're going to try and build a modern deck and compete at Friday Night Magic. Can it be done? Can we take these cards and, you know, beat the local modern players? Find out soon.